Muscle up. They're going to break out. We better get up there. That'll do it. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Those dogs are so great. They retrieve so fast. Mr. Steve! Oh, man. <laughs> nice. Good shooting. Meet the ringneck pheasant, the greatest gift America ever received from China. Forget about the pandas at the National Zoo and that, oh, that little help with our national checkbook. Nearly 170,000 non-residents visited South Dakota last year specifically to hunt pheasants. And in total, $220 million was spent to hunt the birds here. That's a lot of chicken feed. In South Dakota, pheasant lore abounds in a state with famous faces. Well, perhaps the ringneck should take its rightful place. If I were a pheasant, this is where I'd be, wearing a Kevlar vest. Nice! Pretty cackling bird, gorgeous light on it. God, is that beautiful? Sat nice and tight right on the edge Jesus. of the corn. Dog's got God, him. it's beautiful. Picture perfect. When you come to Paul Nelson Farm, it's, it's the heightened state of pheasantdom, quite frankly. I mean, nobody's done pheasant hunting in North America like Paul Nelson Farm has. It's, it's a place that's got a tremendous reputation. It's really widely known as one of the absolute best wing shooting destinations, not just in South Dakota, not just in the United States, but in the world. In addition to clouds of pheasants, the Paul Nelson Farm also has a special permit that allows for generous bag limits. So put the phone down, there's no reason to call the game warden on us. Paul's most famous customer, of course, is none other than Dick Cheney. Poor Dick, you shoot one attorney and you're branded for life. But as the Texas quail guide so famously said after the incident, it could have been worse, it could have been a bird dog. Amen and pass the ammo. <laughs> I see birds up there, and they're crossing up ahead. Crossing all across here. And... Mm -hmm. My strategy is to walk until the pheasants flush. Once they flush, my next strategy is to raise my gun and shoot them. It's a very unique strategy, one that I've developed on my own. See, Steve's never hunted pheasant before, so anytime a pheasant flushes, by God, he's going to shoot. <laughs> shoot him, Steve, shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> Not that easy, Chris, but it can be had. As I say, there's pheasant hunting, and there's pheasant hunting in South Dakota. And they're not on the same planet. Mister. Oh! <laughs> oh, Mr. Dorsey. Oh, and Mr. Ferris. You know, the best part about bird hunting is, is sharing it with somebody who really enjoys it. Steve Ferris, an old friend of mine, a rocker from way back. I mean, he's an absolute duck fanatic. But you get him out here in the pheasants, buddy, look out. Oh, rooster head. Rooster! <laughs> <laughs> Take him, Steve! Okay, I will! <laughs> Chris, is this not pretty enough out here? It's kind of nice to see it with some sunshine on it. I mean, this is, this is autumn. Rooster! Yeah. Nice, Chris. Rooster! Rooster. Steve! <laughs> <laughs> Good dog. Yeah, I'm taking you home with me. Your master is not going to miss you. Look at that. Bird hunting to me has always been about the dogs, especially the old gray muzzled seniors that are veterans of the game. Or as Bill Tarrant once wrote, they are great treasures, these old dogs, for they are more than themselves lying there. They are us. It's amazing to watch those dogs vacuum. Great dogs. Great dogs. It's hard to imagine the prairie landscape anymore without pheasants. They're as much a part of the prairie now as jackrabbits and tumbleweed. What makes them so enticing for hunters? As game birds go, they're the complete package. They're fast running, they're strong flying, they're beautiful on the wing and gorgeous on the table. No matter how many you take, every bird has an enduring quality. You feel an undeniable sense of accomplishment in finally bringing just one bird to hand. I got a good feeling about this last stretch. <laughs> got a very good feeling about this. Rooster right here. Steve, rooster! Nice. I like that spinning double, I couldn't double, see baby. through the feathers for crying out loud. Good dog, good dog. Steve, rooster! Load up, go me! I'm out of bullets, man. Right I'm there. out of bullets. Just a... <laughs> oh, hold on, hold Steve. on. Guys! Nice. Uh. Look at him breaking out of here. Steve! Oh, nice! <laughs> Why is this fun? <laughs>
I'm out of bullets. Oh, the humanity. Well, I can't load fast enough. Oh, the humanity. Rooster! Nicely done. <laughs> I can't see for all the damn feathers that are covering me up over here. <laughs> nice. I'm just going to stand here for a while. Sweet Jesus. That was like uh, warfare, every man for himself. <laughs> Are you sure it's over? Imagining South Dakota without pheasants today would be like Montana without trout, Nebraska without corn, or maybe Washington without gridlock. Set foot here come autumn and you'll see why it's pandemonium. Every man for himself with roosters launching like scuds and hunters shouts of rooster echoing across the grassland between intermittent shotgun volleys. It's a prairie storm, all right, and pheasant hunting is big in South Dakota. I mean, really big. I've been on pushes before. Good grief. <laughs> thieves, thieves, thieves. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the humanity. Oh, Stop my. Stop I shoot I have in. never, ever <laughs> seen anything like what this. What a shoot. This may be the best pheasant moment ever. <laughs> I can't quit laughing. I mean, just pheasant after pheasant after I think that's pheasant called the pheasant. embarrassment of riches right there. <laughs> Not that embarrassing. Look at that. Sometimes a man just needs space and time to think in order to get centered in the universe. And the prairies offer that better than anywhere. It takes me a couple of days to really escape the hangover of the city when I come out to the big wide open. This is flyover country as most pass by and route from one metro area to another eating peanuts and swilling coke without so much as a downward glance to the grasslands. And for hunters, well, that's just the way we like it. That was incredible. This could convert a waterfowler to a pheasant hunter. I tell you what, come to the dark side. 